Right. Well, so, companion, um, we have much time to oh pass my. before our arrival in the Salamander's hidey hole. Right. So what are we going to do first? Your suggestions were rather vague. Mm. First off, behold! Yeah, a Ouija board! Are we going to learn the alphabet? Incorrect. <laughs> It's a Ouija board! Oh, sweet. <laughs> Is it like canon that kitten doesn't know how to how to read? <laughs> yes, indeed! I've always wanted to play the Ouija board. Luigi! Never say these words again. So so Ouija sweet. So innocent. To make contact through seances. That is to say, attempts to speak with dead souls by tapping into the warp. This board is like a window into the immaterium with which the beings on the other side can speak to us. Naturally, oh, Zinch to is totally gonna mess this up. Easily slip into the materium and possess flesh eager for answers they will not receive. Why does it say Oof. Astro Incorporated? Zip! Hasbro <laughs> is on it. Spare your vacuous questions for the correspondence. <laughs> it's on the bottom. I can see it. The Nova Cannon awaits you after this. Come on, to make it more efficient, you too must place your hand upon it. You just want to. Touch hands. Come on! Let's -a go! Okie dokie. Sorry, I can't. But why though? I must firmly grip my weapon, ever and always. But why though? As a custodian guard, I must ever be vigilant. Are you even capable of letting it go? No. Back. Spirits of the past, move among us. Be guided by the light of this world and visit upon us. <clears throat> Ooh. Is anybody with us? Doesn't seem like it's working. Maybe you should call the Hesper. Oh, it said yes! Alright, um, who are you? Y-O-U-R-A-D-O-P-T-I-P-E-A-R-E-N-T -E -E Your uh. adoptive parent? Wait, who? you mean my adoptive father from Prospero? It has to be, right? Ops. Is that really you? It's mother number three, son! Oh, oh. shit, it's Zinch. <laughs> Literally any response to seeing Zinch. <laughs> ah, dang it, it's that guy. That cat, that guy. Don't like him. Well, technically, I am your present out the father, but that was only for a split second before I ended up being so hard we got them straight into Prospero. I knew leaving the palace. Bruh. Like Nevertheless, we're going home now. Skullfan never had legal custody nor your best interests in mind. And parental child abduction is a grave offense in the immaterial court of law. No. What? Don't strangle me. No. Here, let me put on your old form. That'll help you drive model sales. I have nipples on my head! Come, come. <laughs> we're going now. No, I don't wanna. Magnus, don't mount off to me. I don't wanna go. We're going. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. So we're going. No. Time out, young my real dad. Well, so Kitten's gonna challenge him to let Magnus go if he plays the card game. You win one game against the Emperor, and you're like, I'm ready to go take on a Chaos God. Alright, stop. Oh, oh, oh. Are you denying me my property, silvery doorstop? So, uh, I, I mean, yes, in this particular instance, I am. Uh, so what are you gonna do about it, big guy? You gonna tell me to dad at them and have your administratum send me gold spangled glitter bombs? Cause I'm late. <laughs> I change addresses every five minutes. <laughs> oh. no. I know you're kind. You like to play games, do you not? Where did this voice come from? Oh. If so is the case, I wish to play a game for ownership of Magnus's soul. You what? Oh, really now? What is your game of twist then? I challenge you. To a game of Paradox Billions or Square Roulette, fourth dimensional hypercube <laughs> chess strength poker! Yes! Ow. Really now? Oh. So that Looney Shot and Chaz, he actually packs you trivial beings with such cranial uh -huh. capacity. Hmm. It is rare for mortals to master such an intricate clash of the mind. That is the opposite of <laughs> truth. The only intricate thing about this game is its bandwidth. <laughs> 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 I'm not silvery. Or are you? <laughs> Oh, oh cursed, Very cursed. Good. I accept your challenge. But let it be known, little one. This is now an ultra game. An ultra? Oh, is it because they're going to be blue? Yep. Blue. Okay, for real, though. What's with the beef about being sent to Ultraman? I don't know, but the deceiver says it flipping sucks, dude. I don't think he's one to talk. Why to let the game begin? Sweetness, three of a kind. And wind up kitten, of course. Yes. Yes, remembering how he roughed up the Emperor. I'm sure he'll be able to finish Zinch off, too. I shall start things off. 
First, I use pot of green. Yes. It may or may not allow me to draw too many pieces of thin pasteboard. Oh, pot of greed, of course. I shall be sending these two. I don't really need the rest, so I'll just be using card destruction to instantly annihilate and replace both our hands. Oh, no! Wind up, kitten! Hmm. Yes, yes, very good. I'll be setting this as well, and then I shall be using pot of avarice, which allows is... me to entirely throw away cards back Ooh. in my deck and then draw two new ones. Ew! I hate That's that one. A better version of the pot of greed card. Also, we're destroying our cards again. Again? Again! Oh, why do you have three of those? Ah! Oh my gosh, I'd be so mad. Now I have to make pot of green. Again? Okay, stop. Firstly, I know what it fucking does. Secondly, do you have three of every dumb card in this game? That should be utterly illegalized. And thirdly, are you just going to waste time drawing cards when you're actually going to do something? I do have a plan. A plan so well conceived that it could potentially involve the most combustible demise on your part. See, I might just have seen every possible outcome of this tool beforehand and mm -hmm. in an inescapable trick. Of course you he did. He hasn't. He's all too lethargic to inquire as Oracle Kairos about whether or not he will win his next children's card game. Do not <laughs> you'll have to inquire Kairos about the next time you'll get dinner, boy. Whatever, I don't care. Just continue. He's pink well, now. Well, since you are so insistent in your wish for me to do a thing, here is the thing. I throw down a feast down, hidden from your measly mortal eyes. What Great. is it? Can't wait to see what it is when I attack it next turn. Oh, just kidding. You have been full pranked, tricked to see, bamboozled, led astray, insulted, for I activate Book of Time. This allows me to flip my monster up face. Okay. This is my very own morphing job. He's a genius. He is, is scary. He looks like um the thing from Full Metal Alchemist. I forgot his name. The... He, he, he looks like the the blob from Full Metal Alchemist with his big ol' eye. It means his flip effect is flip-debating. Morphing Jar now returns to my deck as all my cards proceed to leap into the grave walk one by one until a new monster is found to take his place onto the field. Okay. Stop licking your cards. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> This is worse than the Emperor's opening. I like how they have... Okay, so they show us his cards. I didn't know that. I haven't seen him yet. I like how he has the cat animals. That's funny. Okay, that's cool. He's got lots of cats and animals in his, in his uh, deck. Simple questions from a simple mind. You may see the truth in due time. Giving your deck diary doesn't seem like the best strategy. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Why what? What? About time to. I only have two cards left. Oh, my make. gosh. Wait, what? Does that mean you only have one monster in your entire deck? Yes, maybe the He case. did turn oh, some okay, down. Also, well, if you only have two cards left in your deck, that means you'll lose by decking out in just two turns. Too bad for you, this game will not last two turns. <laughs> okay. You buy a feed. Oh. Well, as you suspected, Walking Jar is back again. Now to celebrate his return. Oh, it's the he has two of them. Empty my deck, I shall set this trap card. Why would you openly tell me it's a trap? Because you will fall into it no matter what you try, little rat. You could just as well openly monologue about its effect on me if that's the case. Bum, 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 bum. I like how he shifts. Your upcoming device is called Magical Explosion. When I activate it on your upcoming turn, you will lose mm -hmm. 300 light points for every spell card thrown into the abyss. Oh, okay. Seeing as most of my 60 card deck is now dwelling down there, and seeing as how I only have a single monster. Oh card, my gosh. Well, this will be about as much of a blast of waste as the 75% of the planet's on fire barbarian sunny. Oh. I assume this is slightly worried. My turn yet? Not even bothered. Yes. Oh, good. Choose your final actions wisely, little rattling, for this turn will be a valedictory. Well, this is a work back home, I'm certain it'll work again. I activate Giant True Nate! Oh? That magical explosion of yours will not be dead yep. in any time Instead, it will be sent right back into your hand. Yeah! Oh, wow! A massive play undone by a single card! Only in a children's card get- you know what? I play red blue. I am not allowed to criticize here. <laughs> a cute maneuver. Exactly what I expected from a simple mind such as yours. Well, that's rude. I have to be dark bride. I should be able to unintentionally make a deal with the ruinous powers, little candles. Oh. Your cardboard blowing breeze will not phase me in the slightest. Oh no! It didn't actually work! Accurate. In return, however, okay. as a gesture of pity, perhaps. 
The Dark Bribe allows you to draw one last card from your deck. We'll see if you can make it count. Damn it. I have no cards in my hand that will help me. Whatever I play, his magical explosion will pull me out of commission before I can do anything. Oh. This will be my final chance. What's, how's he gonna do it? I, I have to believe. I have to believe in the... Screen of the cards? <laughs> the spleen. It's saying that out loud? I thought he was saying that internally. What? Can you hear my thoughts? Oh, he was. Oh, what are thoughts? Yes, he was he saying that internally. That's just cheesing. That means you know everything I have in my hand. To be fair, you are going to lose no matter what, so who cares, right? No! That's against the rules! What are rules, really? Oh, no. No! I will not stand for this! Companion, I shall help you help me attain my freedom from this monster. I feel your definition of monster is rather sweet. Uh, you kind of messed up, mind. man. I will keep him at bay while you draw your last card. Oh, really now? You think you can keep me out of his mind, Magnus? Oh, we got an extra hand. Are they going to arm wrestle? Quickly, companion. I cannot hold them back for long. Thank you. I will never forget this day. Do it. You helped me help you by winning a children's card game. Shut up and hasten your yeah, draw! Yeah, just draw it, draw it! I shall draw my final card! Looks <laughs> like my faith in my spleen of the cards. It's the spleen of the cards. Oh my. This is no lie. That's another lie, right? Watch me! I activate Cup of Ace! With this card, the flip of a coin will decide the fate of this duel. Oh. If the coin shows head, I will draw two cards. If it shows tails, you will draw two cards. And you know what that means. Oh! Ah, you only have two cards left, so you'll deck out and lose! Oh! Is that it? Honestly, I thought I was in trouble for a second. Okay, I okay. I was expecting you to play that card, but it does not matter because I'll chain it with Magical Explosion! No Again? What, magical Explosion will act in you first and annihilate me. Better pack your bags, Magnus, because it's right back to house arrest for you. <laughs> oh, God. See you around. No! You. Hope you don't shatter too harshly on your trip to Ultramar. I never said Cup of Ace was what was going to save me. <laughs> I activate Mystical Space Typhoon! Ooh! <laughs> Your magical explosion has been negated yes. and destroyed. Unless ah, that means the effect of cup of ace goes through anyway. Take that, you sentient heap of slime! I am almost impressed, but someone should have told you that tempting fate while facing the architect of fate itself is a stupid idea in every possible sense of the word. The only fate I believe in is that of mankind's prosperous future and dominance of the galaxy. One which need not be tempted, only proven to scum like you. Get him! Get him! Do it! Wait. Oh, look, it's tails. Hey, sounds I saw like that you. With all twelve of my eyes. So what? You cheated. You shot it while it was in the air, so it stopped spinning somehow. Cheated, you say? That's against uh -huh. the rules. What I'm are sorry. rules really? Though? Yes. Same question, asshole. I love it. I love it. Oh, what now? Did you really expect to outsmart Oh my me? gosh, it's taking... But things have been going just as planned. I activate Exchange of the Spirits! Oh my gosh. If both of us have 15 cards in our respective graveyards, I will pay 1,000 of my life points to swap the cards in our graveyards with the cards in our deck. And guess what you have? Exactly 15. <gasps> oh. But by the throne world, those card destructions, you intentionally invade three of them to fill up my graveyard. Yes! Guess who's suffering deck dysentery now? Oh my god. Oh no, my deck! Now as for my deck... This is all over the place. Oh, and thank you for the two free draws, by the way. Oh, and guess what I just drew? I do not know, because I'm not a transdimensional crook. Recognize this? Next turn would be all Oh my gosh. Only exception being that all your lifelines have been exhausted, of course. After this turn, it would all be over! Ugh. I guess so. Pack it up after all. Bra. Father, I died tripping on a staircase or something. No. You may see that after this turn. I will he's lose. he's ready. But I will not allow this turn to end in the first place. You will lie defeated before this turn has come to an end, demon. Get him. You need to put yourself in full blown denial. This is a waste of all of our time at this point, and I have greater games to attend to. You have made one critical error throughout this game, and come right back at you at this. The cusp of the duel. Which is? You seem to be unaware that trickery and deception are not the only ways to achieve victory in battle. 
and what I need right now is not to play your game. Yes. But to indulge in the simpleness of a mortal human mind. Yes, I get him. Rescue cat in attack mode. Rescue cat is the ability to sacrifice Very himself cute. for his battle brothers. Sending himself to the grave to summon forth two so other sad. monsters instead from my deck. No. Two mileless radiance. While they may seem small and insignificant on their own, their kinship makes them strong. Yes. As long as a mile's radius is out on the field, every beast with earth as its attribute gets their attack points increased by 500. Okay, that okay. That is 1,000 points for each mileless. This makes no difference. You still have to attack my more big job to get to me. And even then, I would just reincarnate him next round if he happens to meet his demise. Oh, but I have not done yet, Zeke. Get him. Finally, get him. I use Reborn the Monster. This allows me to bring back Rescue Cat one final time. Once more, he will Yay. sacrifice himself to bring about two more creatures from my deck to the field. And oh, I I'm sad. And wind up kitten. Yes. What are you I love to wind up kitten. I am demonstrating to you it's the cute. true power of the Imperium. The true power. The use small, fluffy animals. With a third Miles Radiant on the field, the power of my beast increased by another 500 points. Oh, yeah, they're pretty beefy now. Resulting in each gaining 1,500 extra attack points. But not only that, oh my gosh. I have to make my final card. The big mark of animals. He has all the animal cards. Attack points by another 200 for each beast on the field. Every beast now has 2,300 more attack points each. Easily powerful enough to skewer your slimy exterior and make demon oh god Calamari out of you. And what's more, Wind Up Kitten has a special ability. Yes. Show him. The meow. Looks like you've got to change your mind. Charge! Get him! Get him! Get him! Yes! Yes, I like Wind Up Kitten. The art is really cute. He's silver now. Why? Turn him this back. This never happened. Or did it? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Teach! You're a nerd! Yes! Wow! That was very good. I've never played, but like I I love this. Um I love it. I love it. <laughs> I I've never played, but that looks like a lot of fun and I know it's animated, but man. Hafar, thank you for the super chat. Fun fact, everyone's deck reflects themselves in some way. Kittens has animals. The Emperor is all about genetically modifying one strong warrior and Zintas lacks monsters but uses powerful magic. That's a good point. I did notice he had a lot of spells. He only had like the two monsters and I liked how Kitten has all the animals. I think that's really fun. And so uh, here's the thought. So they were dueling over Magnus's soul. Is like Kitten now Magnus's boss? Technically? Technically? Does he own his soul? Well... I guess that's that. Seems like he was in a hurry. Oh well, I presume I can finally roam the galaxy at large without having to worry about being used as a pawn in this game for dominance mm -hmm. over the Immaterium anymore. Thanks, me. Hey, by the way, why didn't we owe your soul? Yeah! Alright, oh, time to... Technically, to, yes. Time yes. to... Ah, uh, no! I can't turn back to normal! Oh no, no, no! Father's gonna make so many chicken buns if I had to pass on those heresy mark too! Electric Boogaloo now in stores. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just found out about that song, it just makes me laugh. Oh my gosh, Electric Full on Boogaloo. Horus heresy mark too! Electric Boogaloo now in stores. Yes! Yes. Isn't my livery still silvery? Yeah, take it this off. Awful. The worst! Ah, come. Let's go and play a card game that is actually good. I want to play Call of Duty. No! <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I like that episode. That was really, really good. Really, really good.